Well, I thought I would talk about my video game memories. This is the room I've grown up in. Pretty much, you know, gamed in, watched many great, you know, films, Disney cartoons, a lot of great hit movies of today and yesteryear. Um, this room is set up quite differently than it used to. Um, a lot of you will recognize this furniture. This used to be, well, this has always kind of been in the middle of the room. Or in the, the, the center point of the room, really. To where my bed's at. The bed used to be in the actual middle of the room. This here, dresser here, used to be uh, to the, le the far left on that far left wall. That's how most people remember it. This has always been here. Uh, of course, when the computer... Sorry, when the bed was in the middle of the room, I had a much smaller computer stand, or in, a, and that actually sat facing this way, um, and it was bunched up against the bed. Um, so it was a kind of a strange setup, in my opinion. And of course, I didn't have this monitor, nor did I have this computer when I first started this channel, and uh, didn't have this many CDs. I think all I had was all the CDs up top here and that was probably about it all the stuff down here and in boxes to the far right of the room were not in my collection at that point but um now going way back to when I was a kid I used to have a small dresser here and this is probably the first setup that I can remember my bed was uh, up against this wall here with the uh, dressers on but it was further this way where this my new bed lies now I used to have a bunk bed I believe that was the first bed I had um, unless it was just a single bed small the smallest bed you can uh, pretty much buy here in America but uh, um, now I think I may have had a nightstand I doubt it I mean I remember that I have there's pictures of the of the room, unfortunately, there's not. I never came across any pictures showing the full room, or else I would show them now. Um, I would have scanned them in. Maybe I'll dig through pictures and find them. Anyways, this is where my old TV used to be. Um, me and my brother actually shared the TV. We would, uh, I think we would, uh, the Super Nintendo was in the living room, which was played on a Sony Trinitron. Of course, all our systems were played on that. Um, on that Sony Trinitron, which we no longer own, it was unfortunately thrown out. My father did buy another one just like it, but it needs some adjusting on the pot because um, the picture has become blurry. Anyways, and we played you know video games on that TV up until the point of the PS2. Then I bought my own PS2, but I'm kind of straying away from what I'm really wanting to say here. I used to have a small, um, this is like a TV stand. It had two different levels. On the top level I put the TV and the, I think the first system I played on it was the Nintendo 64. It also, it was a, I think it was an AS, it was an Emerson brand TV and VCR combo. And I also recorded, uh, tapes too. So, would record a lot of, you know, Mad TV, Simpsons, a little bit of Seinfeld, I think, even, um, Third Rock from the Sun, uh, World's Wildest Police, uh, Chase Videos, a little bit of America's Most Wanted. This is all back in the 1999 and 2002 era, pretty much. I don't know when I stopped recording the tapes, but it, I think once we were unable to actually record things on the analog uh, you know, the old way of things, before digital took over. I recorded up until that point, I think, maybe. But, um, with that TV, we would share and play PlayStation 1 games on it. I think even GameCube. My brother had a GameCube back then. Um, but that was our TV for a while until I got the Memorex TV, which y'all have seen. I know y'all have seen it on this channel, unless I deleted the video. It was a, uh, I want to say 19 inch Memorex TV. Um, not sure if I actually ran 
satellite or cable TV on that television, but it, it worked really well, up, even up until the point to where I sold it. I mean, it never had anything wrong with it. Uh, played, uh, I had it until I had my PS3. Um, that's, that's, I mean, and then I got uh, my brother's old Panasonic tube television. The Memorex was also a tube television. Just regular TV, didn't have any, uh, you know, no combo VCR or a DVD player. Um, but, uh, so I went from the, yes, the Memorex to the Panasonic tube TV, which is a big jump in picture quality and sound was a little bit better. Um, so funny enough, once I got this TV, I moved the Panasonic tube TV down here, which is no longer here, it's just long gone. Um, so I've actually gone through three, four tube TVs, and three of them have gone into that closet. I'm on my third one now. Um, actually, I'm actually on my fourth tube television, I'm sorry. But um, I think I already said that. I'm tired. Um, so now what I have down there now I've talked about. and That closet used to have doors, of course, <laughs> when I was younger. But, uh, you know, opening this door wild, you know, wildly, and it with anger, you know, busted a hole in this closet door, so that's why this curtain is up there now. Um, I guess I'll show the closet. A lot, a lot has changed. This curtain has stayed the same for many years now, at least, uh, at least for the past four or five years. But, uh, here's the setup now. Got GameCube in there couple of Sega Genesis games um, and the Sega Genesis itself Let's zoom in here there it is um, with the controller I also have the six button controller in there um, we also have two boxes uh, yeah about two boxes of games um, that there the brown box there has more games in it than the other. The white box has more Genesis games, a few NES games. There's an NES up on top there. It's kind of hard to see through the clothes, but it's in there. Um, but the GameCube has the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance player with it attached on the bottom. Oops. And there's various controllers and cords and uh, Sega Saturn sitting down here with some Sega Saturn games up there some speaker um, my old Sony speaker shells the actual or they used to hold speakers cannibalize those and put them into the Marantz uh, the original DVD player I had uh, and a record and I think there's some more cables inside that little brown box in there too so it's really it's a packed space it's not cluttered I'd have reorganized it twice maybe three or four times by now um but it's great for retro gaming this tv is awesome i mean it served me really really well there's nothing wrong with it uh, it does kind of have to warm up so you have to hit the power button twice but other than that i mean it works flawlessly uh, there's nothing i can complain about of course the carpet in this room <laughs> has stayed the same um carpet is quite old and these posters were when I was up here. In place of these posters were, I think, they had three or maybe even four framed car uh, pictures that were bought at, uh, I believe, a Walmart many years ago. I don't know what happened to those pictures. They're probably sold and long gone. But I like what I've done with the with the room now. I do plan on putting a few posters over here. I'm going to buy one and buy uh, put up my Megadeth. Peace Cells era poster. It's just, just reprint those, not an original. Um, and then buy some gaming posters. Just a few retro ones. Um, I don't know how many I'm going to buy, but whatever uh, I can afford, and which I can afford some really, some really good ones. So I'll probably get uh, some regular size ones and some smaller ones to just cover this wall. I'd love to have that. Uh, so, oh, that really does it for my video gaming memories in this room. Maybe I'll cover some more in the room next door here. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.